All right, everybody, I want to move on here. And I actually want to combine uh, gun talk and viewer mail here today because I want to answer a question from a viewer about buying guns. They asked me, hey, are guns a good financial investment? And as much as I hate to say it, I'm going to say no, they are not a good financial investment. Because for something to be a good financial investment, I think you have to see a return on your investment. With guns, if you're lucky, you break even. It's almost like just stuffing money under your mattress, which I don't consider an investment. It's still there if you need it because you can resell the gun, make back most of your money, but it's not a real good investment because you didn't have any growth and you might have a little loss. Now, a lot of people say, well, yeah, but what about some guns like the limited editions and stuff like that, that, you know, they're collectible and they grow up in value. Well, that just doesn't happen much anymore. When you look at guns like the Colt Python and other guns like the Automags, et cetera, that were older, that had a lot of value on the secondary market. Well, that was because at the time those guns came out, they didn't sell a shit ton of them and people used them, abused them. And pythons were not really that good at taking abuse. They were kind of a delicate gun. So later on, there's fewer of them around and they didn't make them anymore. They were scarce. That's why their value went up. That was a good investment. But it's kind of like the comic book market and the trading card market. As soon as people figured out that, hey, these can someday be valuable, the market was destroyed. Uh, there's two things that destroy the market as far as guns, comic books, and all that stuff. Overproduction is one. That killed the comic book industry. It hurts the gun industry. They produce guns at really high rates right now. And most of them are good guns and last longer than you do. So they don't get shot out. Plus, people know if they buy an exclusive gun or a limited gun, they're like, this gun's really valuable. I'm going to take care of it. It's an investment. And because everyone who buys one does that, there's still a lot of them around later. You, any gun that's sold now is a collectible, collectible. You know, you can go 10 years from now, they're probably all still going to be in the box practically because people go, this is an investment gun. Just like people did with, I'm buying these comic books as an investment in the 90s. Uh, well, no, they were overproducing them, producing multiple covers, blah, blah, blah. There was just too much of them and people didn't just read them. That's what made comic books and trading cards worth money is when they came out originally, kids like me read them and then used Silly Putty to take pictures out of them or traced in them and stuff. And they were worthless. We threw them away. That's why there was hardly any of them left later and they were worth a lot of money. If we would have put them in little Mylar baggies and put a, a cardboard backing in them and stuff like people do today, they'd still all be here and they wouldn't be worth anything. Same thing with guns. Too many people know certain guns are supposed to be collectible and there's too many guns made of every brand that's made now. So no, they don't really have that chance to become collectible. And even the ones that have, you also run into a problem that you also run into in comic books and other things, that is reprints. But in the gun community, it's reissuing the guns again, like with Colt, with their new uh, snake line of guns. It is having an effect on the secondary market value of the old Colts. The old Colt collectors are really struggling to keep the value up. A lot of people are losing uh, money there. It's like the rarity of uh, fully automatic guns. Because they're so rare and you can't make new ones, they're very expensive. If tomorrow they took the rule down, Let's say you invested, I bought 20 of them. I've got 20 fully automatic guns and they're worth a hundred grand each. Uh, but tomorrow if they went, yeah, that law is stupid. You can make guns again, make fully automatic guns again. Well, then they'd be like, oh, well, yeah, these aren't worth anything anymore. Those are worth like $2,000 each now because you can make a brand new one for two grand. Uh, so no, guns are not a good financial investment. Like I said, they're a good hedge you know, a good way to save money because it's basically putting money in a savings account but having something you can show for it as long as you take care of it. And they can be valuable in other ways, like I say, like hedging your bets against, you know, disaster or economic collapse, etc., which we'll cover more in another segment because that's, this is not the segment for it. But right now I'm going to say not a good financial investment, but there are other ways they can be invaluable as far as investments. But we'll talk about that, like I said, probably tomorrow.